Saffron comes from the stigma of the crocus satyrus flower, commonly known as saffron crocus. It is used in many rice dishes such as paella, risotto, and curry. It is also used as a perfume, dye, and medicinal herb. The main nutritional constituents of saffron are manganese, iron, potassium, vitamin C, water, and ash. The main allele chemicals in saffron are saffronol, which is responsible for the aroma, crocin and crocetin, which are responsible for the color, and picrocrocin, which is responsible for the bitter taste. Saffron is used in the treatment of depression, Alzheimer's disease, insomnia, atherosclerosis, and cancer. The crocus sativus flower is characterized by its purple petals and its three crimson stigma. The stigma will need to be plucked and then dried in order to make saffron spice. The crocus sativus plant is a herbaceous perennial plant which lives in regions with cool to cold winters, seasons of heavy rainfall, and dry hot summers. The plant is sterile due to artificial selection by growers seeking longer stigma. Therefore, it has no fruit or seeds. It needs human assistance to reproduce. It reproduces through corms, underground starch-filled bulbs, which take about two years to mature. After a few years, they are dug up, broken apart, and then replanted. Saffron's wild ancestors originate in Iran and spread to Greece, Italy, Turkey, and Central Asia through trade. It was the Greeks who first began cultivating Crocus stratimus. Today, the major producers of saffron are Iran, Spain, and India. The major consumers are Spain, the United Arab Emirate, Germany, Italy, France, and the U.S. Saffron was also used as a fabric dye for Buddhist and Hindu monks in India and China. The color saffron was representative of fire, and as impurities are burned by the fire, this color represented purity. It also represented religious abstinence. It is the color of the holy men who renounced the world, and wearing the color symbolized the quest for light. While Egyptians bathed in waters infused with saffron for its therapeutic qualities, Persians used saffron as a ritualistic offering to their deities, and in medieval Europe, they used saffron as folk medicine to treat respiratory diseases such as coughs and asthma. There is archaeological evidence that 50,000 years ago, prehistoric illustrations of animals in Iraqi caves were using saffron-based paints as well. Saffron has largely stopped being used as a paint or dye, however it is still used today for its therapeutic and medicinal qualities. The oxygen in saffron is used to transport oxygen through the blood while magnesium is used to stabilize abnormal nerve excitement and blood vessel spasms. Potassium is used for nerve transmission, and manganese is used to detoxify free radicals. In a six-week clinical trial, saffron was shown to decrease by 50% the HAMD score, which is an indicator for a depression rate. The mechanism behind this is that saffronol aids in the reuptake inhibition of serotonin, while crocin plays a role in the reuptake of dopamine and norepinephrine. With less stress caused by these chemicals, depression rates go down. 300,000 kilograms of saffron thread and powder are produced yearly. Most are produced in the Khorasan province in Iran and the Kashmir province in India, and then resold globally. One of the major buyers of saffron is Spain. Iran is the largest producer of saffron, with 81% of the world's total output. For people living in Iran, about 70% of household income is from the saffron industry. When saffron flowers bloom,
about 100 people per acre are required to harvest the saffron. Thousands of family laborers work continuously, sometimes for over 40 hours, taking the stigma off of saffron flowers. They are paid barely enough to survive. Saffron is as much a food as it is a medicine. Cultural ties in Europe, Asia, and America keep the demand for saffron strong, and the difficulty to produce it may add to its low lore. Saffron is important to human health because of its aroma and tastes calming and therapeutic effect. It could potentially lead to a breakthrough in the treatment of mental disease.